Okay. <clears throat> Would everyone please be seated? Good afternoon. I am Dr. Doug Jensen, President of Bismarck State College, and it is my privilege to welcome you to the Bismarck State College 83rd Commencement Ceremony. Commencement marks the accumulation of all the hard work of our graduates. It certainly is appropriate that we gather with the graduates, family, friends, faculty, and staff to commemorate their milestones and their achievements. To get us started today, please welcome Dr. Dan Langang, Vice President of Academic Affairs, forward. Thank you, President Jensen, and welcome to you all. I have the honor of introducing our stage party today. As I say your name, please rise and remain standing until all have been introduced. Also, please hold your applause until the entire stage party has been announced. So beginning in our second row, Mr. Michael Kern, Associate Professor of Mathematics and BSC's senior faculty member. Ms. Mary Volk, Dean of Current and Emerging Technologies. Ms. Katie Robinson, Chair of the BSC National Alumni Association Board of Directors. Dr. John Carroll, Vice President for Strategic Initiatives. Ms. Rebecca Collins, Executive Vice President. Dr. Kaylin Bondi, Vice President for Student Affairs. Ms. Carrie Knudsen, Vice President for College Advancement and Executive Director, BSC Foundation. In the first row, Dr. Amy Jahala, Dean of Humanities, Arts and Sciences. Mr. Brent Sanford, former Lieutenant Governor of North Dakota and our 2023 commencement speaker. Dr. Doug Jensen, BSC President. Ms. Lisa Johnson, Vice Chancellor for Academic and Student Affairs, North Dakota University System. And Ms. Jenna Rust, our BSC 2023 Student Commencement Speaker. Thank you. It is next my pleasure to introduce Ms. Lisa Johnson, who is representing the North Dakota State Board of Higher Education. Ms. Johnson is Vice, Pres uh, Vice Chancellor for Academic and Student Affairs for the North Dakota University System. Her work fo focuses heavily on the matters that affect the health and well-being of the 44,000 students attending the 11 colleges and universities that make up the North Dakota University System. Ms. Johnson began her undergraduate studies while serving in the United States Air Force. She went on to earn her associate, bachelor's, and master's degrees, and she is currently pursuing her doctoral degree, all from the North Dakota University System institutions. Please welcome Ms. Lisa Johnson. Good afternoon. President Jensen, faculty, staff, family, friends, and most importantly, you, the graduating class of 2023. Members of the North Dakota State Board of Higher Education are attending commencement ceremonies at public colleges and universities like this across the state of North Dakota, both today and tomorrow. It is with great pride that we continue to hold these commencement ceremonies to celebrate your hard work. It's an honor to be invited to participate in your accomplishments today. The State Board of Higher Education serves to shape policy and paths to offer as many opportunities to students for success as possible. Your presence here today reminds everyone, you, your friends, family, faculty, and advisors that you have succeeded in making the most of these opportunities. Few other milestones in an individual's life better represent the life-changing nature of college education better than its culmination in commencement. This commencement ceremony marks the formal completion of your respective program or programs of study. 
However your interests led you on a path to and through Bismarck State College's programs, each of you navigated these unique challenges and experiences along the way. A college education isn't about preparing individuals for their chosen career path, but of providing a glimpse into a larger global perspective and what it means to be an involved community member and an engaged citizen. The board is confident that BSC has presented those paths to each of you by way of its growing number of certificate programs, associate level programs, and now its Bachelor of Applied Science degrees through its designation as a polytechnic institution. We want previous graduates, and you, who are graduating today to know that you are always welcome at BSC. As BSC continues to grow and adapt to changing workforce needs, BSC will continue to evolve and provide both degree, non-degree programs, and training to support you as you embark on your chosen careers. And hopefully, someday, you will return to BSC to teach and lead the next generation of students. The board applauds your accomplishment, and they are confident that the education that you've received will give you the competitive edge you need to accomplish your goals. Graduating class of 2023, this is it. You've satisfied the graduation requirements of your program and Bismarck State College. You should be extremely proud of each and every step it took to be here today, and may it be the first of many more milestones to come. Thank you, graduates, for your hard work. Thank you, family friends, faculty, staff, for your unwavering support of the students and the graduates here today. Congratulations on behalf of the members of the North Dakota State Board of Higher Education on a job well done. Thank you, Lisa. Yes. Thank you, Ms. Johnson, for sharing your time and representing the State Board of Higher Education. It's my pleasure to introduce our 2023 student commencement speaker, Jenna Rust. Ms. Rust is graduating today with an Associate of Arts, an Associate in Science, an Associate in Applied Science, degree in Ag, Industry, and Technology. A BSC multi-sport student athlete, she is a five-time President's Honor, Honor Roll awardee and was named to the 2022-23 BSC Outstanding Agronomy Student Award. She's received numerous athletic, academic, and leadership awards during her time at BSC. And this past fall, Jenna played on the Mystics volleyball team that advanced to the NJCAA Division II National Volleyball Tournament only for the second time in the Mystics history. Also this fall in October, she was crowned the first homecoming queen in 37 years when BSC resurrected the coronation tradition. Outside of the classroom, Jenna has showcased her leadership skills in a number of campus clubs and organizations, and she's represented the BSC student body in multiple speaking engagements including testifying before the North Dakota Legislature. Please welcome Ms. Jenna Rust. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. <laughs> it is great to see a packed house. Now I can finally fulfill my dream of being a stand-up comedian. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm only joking. The only thing I have are dad jokes, and we know how well those go over, so let's cut to the chase. I've been at BSC since the fall of 2020, and let me tell you, I have learned quite a few life lessons along the way. One thing I learned quickly was that I needed to surround myself with people who would help make me a better person in life. This was easy to do at BSC. The community and support I experienced while attending BSC has been outstanding. While playing sports, I had so many students, faculty, and community there to support the team and I. And now that those seasons have ended, these people are still here for me, supporting me and cheering me on. It is amazing how if you involve yourself in the right community, how much they will impact you. Wherever you land, land after you leave today, I challenge you to get involved with your community and cultivate meaningful relationships. Nowadays, communities can be disconnected, and all they need to get reconnected 
is just one person to make a spark in that community. With this in mind, I recently asked people in my BSC community these questions. Who is someone you look up to and what three traits do they have that mean something to you? Of the responses I received, three words stood out to me. The first word is passion. Now what does this word truly mean? Let's think about it. Most of you in this room today are taking a big step in life. This could be by moving on to a four-year school or starting a new career. With that, be passionate about what you do and give it 100%. When you live your life with passion, your life becomes more fulfilling. You have more of a focus and every day now matters. If you aren't passionate about what you do, then why are you even doing it? Life is too short to not be passionate about what you do every day. Now on to my next word. This word means a lot to me. It's a word that was used daily by a former BSC men's basketball coach, Jim Jeske, who recently passed away. He was an amazing guy that not only left a legacy at BSC, but had an overall impact on Bismarck and the surrounding areas. Before he passed, he made sure to teach us all a lesson about the word gratitude. Not only did he tell us how to have gratitude, but he led by example. He showed me that attitude is everything and that if we can change our attitude, we can also inspire others. Life is tough, but if you can change your outlook for the day, it will alleviate some of those worries. One of the quotes that Jeske said was this, gratitude is a simple task, costs nothing, and is fun to share with others. So keep this in mind, each day is a gift, so why focus on the negatives when you could live each day to the fullest? Be full of gratitude. It will not only make a difference in your life, but in the lives of others as well. Now for my last word, faith. What is faith? Faith is having the complete trust or confidence in someone or something. So as you move on in life, have faith in what you do. Have faith in the Lord, faith in your life, and faith in yourself. Trust and believe in what could happen and what you can do, because after all, the Lord directs your steps. Proverbs 16 verse 9 says, a man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his path. This is something I try to live by day by day. It is a good constant reminder for me and others that God is in charge, and you need to trust and have faith in the process. So as you all go off and take your next steps, remember, when you live your life with passion, gratitude, and faith, not only will it change your life, but it will also impact others around you. Soon, you will find that you have grown to become one of those inspiring people that others look up to. Now, I can't let you guys that off that easy, so here's a good dad joke for you. Why did the pirate not make the president's honor roll? Because all his grades were in the high C's. <laughs> Yeah, maybe stand-up comedy isn't my thing. I'll just stick with agronomy. Thank you. Great job, Jenna. If you need help with dad jokes, I'm here for you. <laughs> At this time, it's my honor to introduce the BSC Men's Ensemble directed by Ms. Dawn Hagrat, Associate Professor of Music. Every year we're blessed by our students' talents and hard work. We're very proud of them and we thank them for being here with us today. men's ensemble. Oh, they tell me of a home far beyond the skies. They tell me of a home far away. And they tell me of a home where the storm clouds rise. Oh, they tell, oh, they tell me of an unclouded day. Oh, the land of cloudless 
Christ O'er oh, the land of an unclouded sky Oh, they tell me homeward of storm clouds rise Oh, they tell, oh, me, they tell me of an unclouded day They tell me of a home They tell me of a home King in his tell me of a king in his tell me that my day shall be told. Thank you, BSC Men's Ensemble and Professor Dawn Hagrid for her um, skills and her leadership in bringing this group together today. You all did a wonderful job, and I'm always extremely impressed by the talent of our choirs. It's now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Brent Sanford to, to you today. Mr. Sanford currently works in the private sector but you probably recognize his name from his time in serving as the 38th Lieutenant Governor of North Dakota from 2016 to 2023. A Watford City native, Mr. Sanford served as mayor of his hometown and owned and operated a third generation auto dealership there prior to running for statewide office with the governor, Doug Burgum. A certified public accountant, Mr. Sanford left the state briefly to take a position as the chief financial officer of TransWest Truck in North Dakota, I'm sorry, in Denver, Colorado, but ultimately returned to Watford City in 2004 to take over the family business, running the auto business founded by his grandfather. His career has been, or his career as an elected official began in 2006, and he continues to serve both his community and the great state of North Dakota until January 2nd, 2023, when he made the decision to return to the private sector and spend more time with his family. We are proud to call him a North Dakotan. We are also proud to have him with us today on stage. Please welcome Mr. Brent Sanford. Thank you, Dr. Jensen, faculty, staff, family members, and friends, and of course, most important of all, the students. Thank you all for this opportunity to speak to the graduating class of 2023 at this amazing institution of polytechnic higher learning, Bismarck State College. Bismarck State is an innovative leader in higher education, and I love to brag about you as being the best at providing relevant education 
for the real jobs that are here today in North Dakota. I always call Dr. Jensen the leader of the workforce factory for, for North Dakota. So congratulations on the wisdom to come here for, for higher ed and congratulations on graduating today. So keep up the good work to all of you. Thank you. As I have moved along in the jobs I've held over the last 30 years since graduating from the Un University of North Dakota as an accountant, it's fun to reflect and try to capture patterns and themes. I've been a CPA, a CFO, a small business owner, meanwhile, a father of three, a husband of 28 years. Overlapping all of that for the last 17 years, I've been an elected public servant, first serving over a decade on city council and as mayor in the fastest growing boomtown in America, and most recently as lieutenant governor of the state of North Dakota. Standing here in front of you today, I need to point out that one of those patterns I've noticed, that as time has gone by, I've had more and more and more public speaking opportunities and requirements of every position. Jenna just did an amazing job coming straight out of college. I'm very jealous of how you're able to do that at your age. I could never have done that. I got a C in speech at UND. <laughs> no lie. But I, I felt like this job was my penance, giving a speech most days to different trade groups, different organizations. And I can tell you, brushing up on those public speaking skills, being able to present yourself is of the utmost importance. And the main key to remember is less is more. I just heard a tidbit yesterday. Eight slides is too many. Sometimes you'll see 61, 35 slides in a presentation at work. Eight's too many. First slide is to say what you're there for. Last slide, what you're going to do. So that's just a tidbit. So the key is saying what you need to in less time than the audience is expecting. So that being said, former politician, it's usually 25 minutes plus. I have five to seven minutes today, according to <laughs> President Jensen, so I better get to my main points. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be here today. What better place to share some life wisdom than a college graduation commencement speech for those who are starting the journey? Today, I have two examples from a pair of American leaders who both climbed from very lowly beginnings to the top of their professions. A couple weeks back, I was able to spend some time in the pre-commencement activities at another college here in Bismarck. One of the college's lead benefactors was being honored with an honorary doctorate. This person is arguably the father of the Bakken, whose faith in the geology of Western North Dakota and his use of innovation has led the way for North Dakota's dominance in the oil and gas industry the last 15 years. A legendary entrepreneur and visionary leader in the North Dakota oil fields. His name is Harold Hamm. The speakers that were talking about Harold that night were mentioning things that made Harold great. You expected to hear a lot of profound things, right? How did Harold get from where he started as a sharecropper's son to a billionaire? And the thing that struck you is the simplicity of it. Harold always gives two simple pieces of advice for that, on that question on how do you get ahead. His first one is, well, you gotta get out of the truck and work. That's it. His second piece of advice on managing people is this. Well, don't let your people sit around. You've got to stay busy. So simple advice from Harold Hamm for getting ahead when you're young and starting out is simple. Taking risks and staying on task. But an even telling, a more telling point about the man and his success was another answer. Question, Harold, after all these years, what's the hardest part of being in business? And again, I'm expecting all these terrible things like near bankruptcy, financial crisis, etc., the market turning south. He said, well, well, people say we're conservative or that we're crazy to run short-staffed all the time. Even if we're super busy, we're always running short-staffed. But that's because of one thing. The hardest thing for me in business wasn't losing money or losing a job to a competitor, losing a bid, failing to accomplish a financial goal. The hardest thing is having to fire people. I hated doing that. I hated that. I did everything I could to not have to do that, said Harold Ham. So if the market happened to correct and we were short-staffed, that's the only time we were right-sized, that's great. Market corrected, we lost some business, we didn't have to lay anyone off. Because he felt the responsibility for every person coming to work every day for him and responsibility to their family. So in the end, Harold said, really in the end, it's about how you treat people. So another great person I've learned a lot from, I didn't get to meet in person. His name is Billy Graham, arguably America's greatest evangelist. During COVID-19, 
It was a challenging time to be an elected official, I can tell you that. You couldn't win. Couldn't win. I found myself shifting away as I was driving by myself in my vehicle. I would find myself shifting away from listening to my usual music and talk news stations when driving around. I settled on, on two channels. One is Tom Petty. The other one is Billy Graham, depending on the mood. Now, maybe, maybe you all are too young to know Tom Petty, but I won't share any Tom Petty wisdom today. We don't have enough time, but American Girl, Live Like a Refugee, Free Fallen, his anthem, I won't back down. There's a lot of wisdom in that stuff, but I couldn't find any notes that he'd ever given commencement speeches. So I want to share part of a, part of a message that I did here just a few weeks back of, of a commencement message that Reverend Billy Graham ga gave that really stuck with me, one he gave quite some time ago. But his message to the graduates that day was that he had a simple message and word of advice. He said, to all those of you who are graduating today and on this new journey for the rest of your life, the most important investment and resource that we are given is time. Your clock is ticking. Every second is one less second that you are here on this earth. Either invest in every minute or let it slip through your fingers. Let it run through your fingers like sand. Invest your time in others. Help others. Love God and your neighbors. The dividends of this investment of your time into others will lead to a life of fulfillment and satisfaction, a meaningful life that will count for God. It is so telling to me that two incredibly successful people in their 70s at the time of the question being asked would respond so simply, Billy, what's the most surprising thing about life? His answer, how fast the time goes by. Harold, what's the hardest thing in business? Answer, firing people. So I'm leaving with two simple pieces of advice from two American leaders who have lived long and successful lives, reaching the top of their professions from the humblest of beginnings. Number one, invest every minute of your most important resource, your time here on earth, in others. Number two, in the end, it's about how you treated people. So if you help others and treat people well and work hard and do what's right, it's actually very simple and it will all work out. So I want to thank you again for this opportunity. God bless you and your future endeavors and this great institution of Bismarck State College. Congratulations, graduates. Mr. Sanford, thank you for sharing your thoughts and advice with our graduates today. Next, I'll ask Ms. Katie Robinson, Chair of the BSC National Alumni Association Board of Directors and a 2019 graduate of BSC with a degree in medical laboratory scientist. Uh, she's currently in that role at Sanford Health. Please welcome Katie Robinson to the podium. On behalf of the Bismarck State College Alum National Alumni Association, congratulations graduates, and welcome to the alumni family of more than 24,000 members who work together to strengthen this outstanding institution. Last night, we honored our outstanding alumni with three awards. The Alumni of the Year, the highest honor bestowed on our alumni. The Rising Star to recognize our more recent graduates' achievements and the BSC Legacy Family Award, signifying a legacy of attendance and dedication to BSC and the family. The 2023 Alumni of the Year Award recipient is Glenn Bosch, class of 1980. Glenn is serving his fourth term in the North Dakota House of Representatives and is the co-owner of the Larks baseball team. He retired from AVI Systems as the Executive Vice President. Our Rising Star recipient this year is Stephanie Schramm Little, class of 2012. Stephanie is an assistant social work professor at Minot State University and is currently completing her PhD in health sciences. The BSC Legacy family is the family of Frank and Joanne Bavendick. Frank attended Bismarck State College from 1949 to 1950 and competed in track and field. Their son, Greg, also attended BSC. 
Greg and his wife Yvette carry on Frank's legacy of support of the BSC Mystics by attending nearly all of the BSC Mystic sporting events. Each of the alumni I just mentioned once sat where you do now, at a crossroad in their life's journey. Much of their story is written, but yours is yet to be written. So go out and write your own book. I encourage you to take great care in how you define the successes of your story and to what standard you may measure them. Perhaps resist today's common standards of bank account totals, Instagram followers, or Facebook likes. Rather, consider the accomplishments of this year's award recipients. I venture to guess that when they look back, what meant the most to them is the relationships that they made with people met at BSC and at other stops along their way. I encourage you to be open to the people around you, to seek out lasting and meaningful relationships anywhere you may go, to be kind to one another, and to call upon your experiences at BSC to make a difference in your community. Enjoy today, do not fear tomorrow, and I wish you all the very best. Congratulations, and welcome to the BSC National Alumni Association family. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Bismarck State College, I extend to you, our graduates, the most sincere congratulations on the completion of your degree programs. The gold stole that many graduates are wearing this afternoon is a symbol of their membership in Phi Theta Kappa, the International Honor Society for two-year colleges. Their names are also noted in the commencement program with the Greek letters that represent that organization. You may notice that many names in the program will not be read today. Those candidates will receive their degrees in absentia. Some completed their graduation requirements in the fall semester, and some will not complete their studies until after the summer session has ended. If you follow the program, you'll note the specific degree, diploma, or certificate each candidate is receiving. It's time to confirm that our students can graduate. Candidates, will you please stand? President Jensen, will you please join me at the podium? President Jensen, the academic records of these candidates have been examined. The students have fulfilled the requirements for graduation for the appropriate academic degree as set forth by the North Dakota State Board of Higher Education and Bismarck State College. I recommend the awarding of such degrees so the candidates may enjoy the rights honors and privileges pertaining thereto. <clears throat> Candidates, by the authority vested in me by the State Board of Higher Education and the State of North Dakota, and upon recommendation of the faculty of Bismarck State College, I hereby confer, confer upon you the academic degree for which you have earned. You may now turn your tassels from the right side to the left side. <laughs> graduates, congratulations. Will all the graduates please be seated? We will now present the 2023 graduating class of Bismarck State College. The graduates will approach the stage and receive their diplomas as directed by the marshals. Jenna, please make your way to the side stage. You'll be the first to receive your diploma. Dr. Jensen, Ms. Johnson, and Mr. Sanford, 
please join me at the front of the stage for the conferral of the degrees. Jenna Ray Rust. Adam Hoffman, flag bearer graduating today with, the ba with their Bachelor of Applied Science. Lauren Mary Hosel, flag bearer graduating today with their Associate in Arts and Associate in Applied Science. Chase Thornson, flag bearer graduating today with their Associate in Science. Dominic James Parks, flag bearer graduating today with their Associate in Applied Science. <laughs> Madeline McDonald, flag bearer graduating today with their certificate. The following students are receiving their Bachelor of Applied Science. Wyatt Orrin Bunnell. Cole Jonathan Craven. Michael Fetch. Janie Ray Lien. Matthew Edward Norton. Samuel Rath. The following students are receiving their Associate in Arts. Madison Kate Beebe. Nathaniel Mordecai Beha. Brooklyn Rose Morgan Benno. Kaylee May Berger. Peyton Rose Bergman. Alexander Bruce Brady. Hannah Christine Fisher. Asa Guy Fox. Catherine Fox. Kaylina Dicey Freed. <laughs> Kyle Gator. Chase Allen Geller. Destiny Hyder. Joshua Hyder. Mariah M. Hyder. Amy Nicole Harris. Avery Nicole Hoff. Ella Helm. Jaylee Ales Hoiby. Carson Hood.
Connor Bain Heslop. <laughs> Esther Lauren Yagi. Paige Young. Tyler Castro. Ashley Dale Ketterling. Sage Klipfell. Zoe Jean Kais. Lori Ann Coons. Garrett James Lightsey. Colton John Markle. Cassandra Gail Paycheck. Mandy Picard. Cambry Pretzer. Roberta Jo Marie Richter. Anna Ross. Allison Josephine Schatz. Cassidy Marie Schmidt. Allison Bailey Schultz. Isabel Catherine Sieg. Shailen Stevens. Erica Strinden. Brianne Elizabeth Taveras. Patrick Kyle Watson. Taya Carolann White Mountain. Jennifer Ann Winlock. Taylor Wood. Jasmine Alexis Wetzky. Trevin Yeoman. The following students are receiving their associate in science. Rena Diamond Ansu. Cameron Lee Beasley. Erin Marie Berger. Kaylee Bloomhagen. Stephen Cusey. Stevenson Bouton. Hannah Marie Felt. Astasia K. Konica. Brianna Page Geigley. Stephen Flemmer. Haley Ann Giroux. Sydney Gustafson. Reagan K. Humphreys. Tyler Hansen. Ina Nicole Jasmine. 
Madeline Jennings. Hallie K. Johnson. Michaela Lallier. Callie Nicole Mack. Riley Brooks Martin. Nicole Janine McDonough. Aaron Elaine Murphy. Sean Murphy. Taylor M. Nelson. Kylie Jane Olander. Haley Ray Buff. Paige Elizabeth Prewe. Samantha Rose Weil. The following students are receiving their Associate of Applied Science. Taylor Page Asen. Brian Eichley. Katia Albeño. I didn't get the Sahel Andre. Sahel? Sahel Andre Rubianes Altura. Emily Marge Alia. Callie Rose Anderson. Donovan Joseph Anderson. Riley Orvin Anderson. Caitlin Ann Bauer. Alexis Belland. Ryan Beller. Coleman Lee Berg. <laughs> Jeffrey Paul Berg. Sydney Ann Berg. Jake Kellen Boots. Amanda Bosch. Denise Lynn Bull. Claudia Cargo. Hayden Cable Christensen. Julian Elizabeth Collazo. Michael Daniels. Tova Marie Danielson. Noah Davis. Carly Christina Didi. Connor Kevin Dykema. Harris John Ensi. Cooper Fanta. Megan Fast. 
Seth Feldahl. Kendra Catherine Ford. Justine Nicole Fries. <laughs> William Joshua Gebhardt. <laughs> Bart Russell Gnurk. <laughs> Gracie Beth Gunderson. Justin Hafner. Andrew Dennis Hager. Aiden Hasby. Alyssa Hudson Bueller. Dalton James Hegeman. Caden Herkett. Caden, how are you? Trevor Wayne Herning. <laughs> Samuel Heather. How are we doing today? Congratulations. Simon David Johnson. Alexander Joseph Jerome Charette. Kane Joseph Kaiser. Matthew Patrick Jund. Yaromir Kraus. Kayla Alita Copenhaver. Dawson Kuypers. Logan Kuderna. Jordan Kuypers. Sydney Kate Larson. Elizabeth Ann Lee. Devin Allen Laszlo. Andrea May Lund. Olivia Rose Martins. Gabriella Ann Messer. Cassidy Grace Maxwell. Leah Jean Mitleider. Angie Marie Michael. Matthew Remington Moseman. Oren Malrud. Brandon Lucas Moser. Jose Murphy. Suzanne Nagel. Grace Love Nagby. Nicholas Allen Nechapranko. Mackenzie Robert Owen. Ethan Oswald. Elizabeth Opitz. 
Jaden Bradley Pettit Schmidt. Autumn Emma Pearson. Isaac Persglove. Alan Riddle. Dravon Robertson. Megan Rising. Emily Salway. Avery Quinn Rotvold. Richard Paul Singer. Joy Arliss Schnabel. Hannah Stasny. Edward Floyd Slama. Dylan Steiner. Hunter Stymist. Megan Lynn Sukit. Kiana Sumaya Harry. Isaac Allen Tritline. Ethan Gerhard Thompson. Ethan Carlos Chosik. Bobby Lou Van Vliet. Ethan Thomas Wells. Zachary James Wyand. Nicole Wilson. Walker Jacob Wold. The following students are receiving their program certificate. Trenton Belden. Tanner Jarrett Burnt. Garen Jeffrey Daly. Seth Wyatt Dinius. Grady Dukeshire. Ian Eilers. Anthony Lawrence Iman. Nicole Ray Fisher. Michael Lawrence Frank. Michael Gellner. Keith William Hartley. Amber Johnson. Jacob Ikaika Kane Hailua. Alan Ketterling. Preston Lee. Gotcha. Connor Richard Mersel. Melinda Sue Neff. Gavin Scott. Bryce Tanner Selly. Joshua James Chappelle. Good 
Andrew Michael Silbernagel. Carson Scar. Carson, how are you? Cody Wade Wisner. The following students are receiving their certificate of completion. Brooke Canode. Hi, Brooke. Smile. Nevada Ray Ennen. How are you today? Smile. Nicholas Daniel Furco. Aurora Hill. Ella Jo Kittleson. Hello. Congratulations. Hannah Carey McTaggart. How are you? What's that? There's quite a back up here if you want to wait until they get back to their Oh, they're still back there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to wait for people to be seated to take their time. We have a few moments while we're waiting for the graduates to get back to their seat. So um, just enjoy and celebrate a little bit today what this is all about. When you have an opportunity to see the graduates come across the stage the way we do, uh, you see a lot of nervous, you see a lot of happy, smiling people. And um, this is a special day for all of you. So um, take your time and enjoy it today. Make sure you spend time with family and friends and just enjoy the day, what you have accomplished and where you wanna go from here. Almost there. Well, BSC graduates are making their way back to their seat. BSC has a number of students who earned their degrees online and at a distance. While some of our online graduates were unable to attend commencement today, we were happy to announce that several students traveled long distances to be here with us today on this special occasion. Graduates from 16 states along with graduates from the Philippines and Guinea have crossed this stage today. That is a tremendous sacrifice that they have made and we greatly appreciate them being here and trusting in BSC. 
We are also proud to announce that during today's ceremony, we conferred college degrees to six high school students who earned their degree from BSc taking dual credit and early entry classes in high school. They will receive their degree before some of those individuals graduate from high school. That is a tremendous accomplishment. BSC is honored to have had one of those graduates with us today and walk across the stage and accept her diploma and be recognized for this great achievement with all of our 2023 BSC graduates. As we conduct, conclude the 83rd Bismarck State College commencement exercise, I offer congratulations to all of our graduates and wish each and every one of you the very best for your future and what life brings to you and whatever endeavors you set out to. So graduates, this is the fun part, okay? Graduates, please rise and face the audience. If the spirit moves you, feel free to throw those mortarboards into the air as your family, friends, faculty, staff give our 2023 graduates a round of applause. Let them fly. Throw them if you want to. I know many of you put special effort into the decorating or messages that you put on your hat, so we'll make sure you get a chance to find them. So um, why don't you have another seat while we uh, wrap this up and we'll get you moving forward. Audience members, you may come down from the stairs from the second level and through the southwest doors to greet your graduates. Stage party and faculty, there will be no recessional. This concludes our ceremony. Thank you for being with us today, graduates and families and friends. Have a great future. Some move.